Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aspire Sports Show. I'm your host, Tyler. Well, nobody's here with me today. It's just it's just myself today, okay? Uh, I'm going to be talking about, we talked about a little bit yesterday, but some free agency ads, waiver wire pickups. Uh, I feel like I didn't go that much in depth yesterday, and I kind of want to talk about some people that drop, and then some deep dives. So remember, if you like this video, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, share it, show other people, you know? It's not, eh, we're going to get there. So it's, we're growing a little bit here. So let's, let's get into it. Uh, so the top people, we kind of talked about this yesterday, but I did miss Damian Harris because the game was happening. Uh, 17 rushes for a hundred yards. I feel like he's probably the top ad for me well, with also Joshua Kelly. Um, but those two right now would definitely pick up because Sony Michelle's on IR. We have no idea what's going to happen with Sony Michelle right now. Uh, so Damian Harris, they really liked him in camp. So somebody I would definitely add top priority for me. If he's there, I'd pick him up. So then Joshua Kelly, Justin Jackson, we talked about him. Both of them you want to have, in my opinion, they're going to, in my opinion, they'll feed the hot hand. Uh, so whoever that is week to week, we'll see. Uh, but definitely two people you want. Ernest Johnson talked about him yesterday as well. Timeshare in Cleveland. So this is a team that wants to run the ball. Pro football focus, number two rusher this past weekend. He looked really good. So they're going to be a team that just wants to pound the ball. I think it's kind of a timeshare between him and Hunt. So somebody I would definitely pick up. Tanyan, we talked about him yesterday. Uh, I, I do want to say, I think now maybe it can come back and you know bite me. But I'm going to pump the brakes just a tiny bit. The past two weeks, they've played the two easiest, friendliest uh, tight end matchups the, going into the – before the games, before he actually destroyed uh, Atlanta, they were the second friendliest. They're probably the friendliest now. But uh, I, I just think that pump the brakes a little bit. No Devontae Adams. Aaron Rodgers never really been a quarterback that features tight ends. So maybe this is different this year. We'll see. But I think he's definitely an ad going forward. Dalton Schultz talked about him. I think he's an ad if you're – you know, need a tight end. He's, he's looked very good. Mo Alley Cox is another one, at least 50 yards or a touchdown the past three weeks. So he's getting points. Somebody I would definitely add if you need to tight end chase Edmonds talked about him. What's going on with Drake. We're not sure, but I would add chase Edmonds, uh, T Higgins last person I'm going to touch upon because we, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Uh, I, I'm not going to go on the stats, but I feel like he's kind of leapfrog, uh, AJ. So, and this is leading into the next part here. The top players that drop. Now, I'm not saying go out and drop them right now. If you need, if you want to go and pick up somebody like Ernest Johnson because you need points, these guys aren't providing that right now. I would definitely go and do that. So these are guys that are owned over 40% right now in leagues. AJ Green, 83% right now. I feel like he's the number three option in that offense. Number four right now. Uh, it's just not looking good. He, the chemistry's not there. T Higgins looks good. You, you know that coming out of college, Burrow likes to throw in the slot. Tyler Boyd's been really – he's been playing really well. So I just – I don't like A.J. Green. If you need somebody – if you want to go for a, a sexier like Joshua Kelly or Darian Harris and drop A.J. Green, I would not bat an eye at that. J.K. Dobbins, it breaks my heart. And uh, now I'm only saying this because if you're somebody that needs a win now, say you're one and three, obviously you always want to win every single week. But if you're four and oh, you can kind of keep some guys on your bench that may – come on later in the season. I think this is somebody who could definitely come on later in the season, but right now it's just not happening. It's a three headed monster in that backfield. I think he's droppable. Unfortunately at this point, he's not playing that many snaps. Uh, it's just so confusing back there. And maybe later in the season he comes on, but right now, if you want to pick up one of these guys that are going to get you points now, then yes, I think he's droppable. Marvin Jones. I think they go into a bye week this week. I'm pretty sure. So hasn't played that well. 31 points. This is in point. Uh, our half a point PPR leagues, 31 points through the first four games now. One catch last week on nine yards on a dream matchup. They're uh, see or not Seattle. I was gonna say Seattle. The Saints were down. Their top uh, Jenkins and Marshawn Lattimore. They're down both of them. So this was a dream matchup. Has two targets, one catch for nine yards. Droppable. I'm sorry. Uh, Jerry Judy. Well, Tyler, he had a good Thursday night. Yeah, on two targets. Uh, or on three targets, caught two passes, 61 yards and a touchdown. It, he really hasn't done that much this year, let's be honest. And sure, when Drew Locke comes back, yes. But I think there's another guy down here that I think is worth an ad over the him right now because he's playing better and the quarterback is looking his way more. So let's go to the next person, Marquez Valdez-Scantling. I'm sorry, I was, I've was i never been a believer in him. Last year he's had this, this opportunity before. Didn't do much last night. He caught four catches, I believe. Uh, four catches, 41 yards. 
he, he just, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Next person, Nahi Himes. Uh, so he's not he's not the backup here to own. Uh, he'll be involved if anything ever happens to Jonathan Taylor. He'll be you know involved in the passing game, but I, he's somebody that, in my opinion, he's droppable. If you want to go get one of these other guys, uh, Austin Hooper, fifty three percent owned in leagues right now. He's like the fourth option on this team right now, fifth option. Just a team that wants to run the ball. They have Odell on the outside. They have Jarvis. It's just there's other tight ends right now, the tight ends that we mentioned that I would have, I would want over him. And then the last one, Jordan Howard, 42% owned. Why? Why is he even 42% owned right now? The dude, he's not good. I'm sorry. He falls in the end zone. That's about all he's good for. So if you want somebody who can maybe fall in the end zone on an offense that's not that good. Not... So that's all. Let's go into the deep dives. So these are the deep dives where it's less than 10% owned. Right now, Zach Pascal, or Zach Pascal, I don't think it's Pascal. Zach Pascal, 4% owned right now. I think he's the guy to own over than uh, TY, and actually TY, I believe, he's droppable. I didn't even put him on there. He, he's droppable as well. Somebody that I wouldn't, I don't know, maybe he's not over 50% or 40%, uh, but somebody that I would definitely drop. You have Tua right now, 6%. It's coming soon here. It's coming. I mean, Fitzpatrick. He did okay last week, but they drafted Tua for a reason. And I think that coming you know, soon, he's going to be the guy. And somebody that I – maybe he works out, maybe he doesn't, but he's going to run. So we'll see. Uh, Jordan Wilkins, this is the back to own in Indianapolis, in my opinion. Well, Jonathan Taylor, but if anything were to happen to Jonathan Taylor, this would be the guy. So if you're somebody who's – maybe you're sitting there like three and one – 4 and 0 and you want an upside ad this would be the guy because if anything happens to Jonathan Taylor boom he's he's the guy to own so Cameron Brate he's 1% no Howard you know Tom Brady likes to throw his tight ends like to throw those little checkdowns he did catch a touchdown this week so you know he's a red zone threat um the last or another guy I don't know how to say his name so Omadai or Zacchaeus I believe is how they were saying his name on Monday night. So four for six, 41 yards for Atlanta. This is a guy right now who I don't know what's going on with Julio. Unfortunately, Julio injuries hitting him right now. You know, he is 31. So he's getting up there and maybe this is a guy that's going to play because of just injuries right now. Calvin really didn't even catch a ball last night. So somebody, if you're in a deeper league, maybe Worth worth looking at. The, not necessarily an ad, but keep your eye on. Uh, Darnell Mooney, another guy. Five for, he had he had five catches, 52 yards on nine targets this past week against a good Indianapolis team. So Nick Foles likes him. You got Nick Foles back there. And then the last person I'm going to talk about is Tim Patrick. Six for seven, 113 yards. He's 1% owned in leagues right now. I'd imagine that's going to skyrocket after waivers is over. But – he he has this report with Ribbon the week prior. Like I said, he caught three three catches on three targets. So uh, Ribbon likes him. I don't know how much longer Ribbon plays, but we'll see. But that's somebody I would definitely worth. He's worth picking up right now um, because he. I think he's he's the guy back there over than Judy. Maybe when you know Drew Law comes back, it changes. But right now, Tim Patrick. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the little segment here. We'll go ahead and post it. Make sure if you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, so that's it. And we'll see you here tomorrow. Have a great day.